Welcome to another color along on my channel and today I will start my first page in the book which is very important for me. It's Le Jean Nouveau by Herb Leonhardt and I would say that pictures in this book are among the best I've ever seen in coloring books. I wasn't very confident <laughs> how to start coloring in this book, but then I decided that I will scan all pictures, so now I also have my own PDF book, and if something goes wrong, I always will be able to print picture and to color it the second time. The only disadvantage of this book is that pictures are double-sided. Paper isn't bad, tooth of paper is good, it's white and it's not thin, but still, if you is heavy-handed like I am, it's a little bit uh, difficult to remind yourself that on the back you have also beautiful page and you constantly have to be careful about paper. But I put a piece of sturdy cardstock beneath picture which I color and it helped me to get a little bit of confidence, at least I won't damage the rest of the book. So on this page which I selected, I decided that the most important thing for me will be to test various pencil brands and to decide which will be my main pencil set for this book. Honestly, I really love the same picture which put on the cover on the book and if it would be possible to color with watercolors in the book, I probably would try to copy the image from the cover. But as I have to color with pencils only, I decided to make this picture a little bit more colorful. My first set, which I started to test in this book, was Black Widow Monarch. I used them on the background. Then I decided to test polychromosis. You will see that I will be using it for the intricate design of ivy leaves in the lower part of the page and on the tiny oak leaves behind them. I decided that apart from trying to use various shades and hues of green, olive green, um, blue green normal green color i also will be coloring some leaves in autumn colors so i will use will be using a little bit of yellow terracotta indian red because we have a huge variety of leaves here so adding some warmer colors i hope that it will make my picture a little bit more interesting to look at Definitely with harder pencils like polychromosis and monarch it was quite easy to color in the small areas of this design, even small details. And I was quite happy how all pencil brands which I tested so far on this page covered paper and blended so tooth of the paper is nice. Well, probably for my next coloring or in the second part of this video I also will be using some Prisma colors. I hope that softer pencils will be safer to use for the page on the back. As I said, with harder pencils I also tend to press harder, so I am constantly afraid to damage the second image. I would say that for the designs in this book will be very helpful some felt tip pens or liners or even, even gel pens, mostly because of the intricate frames. For example, here I used my uh, pit pen and they have a very nice thin tip for the chain around the main image and they were really very helpful to create this golden frame and to fill in these very thin, delicate lines. And as all the designs in this book are uh, framed in very interesting <laughs> frames, so felt tip pens or fine liners really can be very helpful here. The third 
set of pencils, which so far I managed to test here, were my Mitsubishi Uno, mostly because I really love selection of green colors in Mitsubishi set. So for the bigger oak leaves around the face of the green man, I will be using color combo of olive green and hunter green. And then again, I will add some colorful accents using polychromos terracotta, Indian red and yellow. Uh, different pencil brands mix it together very well. So the only concern was not press too hard. Sorry that I repeating myself. When I colored, I enjoyed doing it, but I was a little bit concerned that probably my choice of the background wasn't right. Sometimes it's helpful to start from background and then to do the main image, but sometimes you think that your first choice wasn't the right one. It was good that my background here is quite pastel and light, so if necessary, I was able to switch to other color. And later, after I decided that my picture lacked some contrast and deep dark colors, I was able to add on top of my pastel background a very dark walnut brown from Polychroma set and I really think that it was wise. After I added this darker color to the background, I started to like my picture much better. So I hope that you will like the start, which I did in this page. Now I am very happy that finally I started to color in this book. I think that I already have it for six months probably. When I got it, I was crazy happy, but again, then I was afraid to start and to ruin images. To make a PDF copy was very helpful for my confidence. So now I hope that I will be doing more and more pages from this book, because all designs, they are gorgeous. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the second part.